Hi, and welcome to the options video for GCSE Business Studies. So first of all, why do we love our subject? We love our subject because it provides students with the opportunity to be innovative and creative about their own products and processes within business. Not only that, but it provides students with transferable skills such as critical thinking, determination, communication, presentation skills, mathematical skills, and also confidence in your own ideas. So it's about providing you with skills that go beyond the classroom and will help you be successful later in life. Um, throughout the course, um, all of our theory is taught with real business examples, which is something that we love. So we're always looking at um, engaging articles, business in the news, and we're applying that to the content that we teach you. So all of the course is taught alongside businesses that you will be familiar with and you might even buy from. OK, so what will you study uh, when doing GCSE business studies? So um, there are six units that are taught across the two years. Now, the first unit is business in the real world. This is where we look at how businesses are set up in terms of their ownership types. Um, and we look at things like location and picking the best locations for businesses. We then move on to look at um, unit two, which is influences on business. Now, this unit is all about how external factors such as technology the economy, uh, the environment and ethics impact the success of the business. We then move on to operations. This is where we look at how products are made. Uh, what processes are we using to make products? And we look at companies such as Amazon and how they're set up to um, operate effectively and efficiently. Um, we also look at the importance of quality in our products and processes, and we look at how customer service can be a competitive advantage for businesses. We then move on to human resources. So this is all about the management of the people within the business. How do we recruit the best employees? How do we train them? How do we promote them? How do we make sure that our staff want to stay within our company and they are motivated? We then move on to look at the marketing side of businesses. So this is all about the products that we sell. How do we make sure they meet the needs and wants of the customers? How do we promote those products to make sure that customers know what is great about our products and why they're better than the competition? We look at um, how we sell our products in the right locations, whether that's online or in physical places. And then we finally move on to the finance section. So this is looking at the profitability of businesses. How do we make sure that our businesses are profitable? How do we control the cost for the businesses? How do we make sure that we've got cash running through our business each month? so that we can survive and how do we pay our taxes and our dividends. Now, how will you be taught throughout the two years? You're taught through a variety of different methods. We do a lot of student led activities and um, all of our theories apply to business in the news. So making sure that it's really relevant and engaging for you guys uh, using businesses that you either buy from or you might potentially work for in the future. We do a lot of activities centered around collaborative group work, and we also get you guys to do independent research uh, projects and presentations as part of the course. So how will you be assessed? Now, throughout the six units that you're taught over the two years, there'll be a series of mid topic and end of topic assessments. Um, so we assess you halfway through the unit to see uh, what progress you're making, what content we may, might need to go back over with you. And then we do an end of topic assessment using exam style questions. Now, at the end of the two years, you are assessed through exams for your GCSE grade. So there are two papers, there's paper one and paper two. Both papers are an hour and 45 minutes each and they are equally weighted. And how you perform on those exams will overall contribute to your GCSE grade, your final grade. There is no coursework um, with this course. It is all exam based. So what future careers can business studies lead to? Now, business studies is a great one because it can provide you um, with a lot of different pathways to future careers. Um, now, if you're thinking about staying on and going on to do future um, education, such as university or A-levels or even go to college, this subject provides you with the basic foundation knowledge of business to help you do that. But also, if you're thinking of going straight into the place of work after your education, it will give you the transferable skills and the basic understanding of business in order to be successful in the workplace. Um, in the longer term, the future careers that this subject can lead to is things like retail buying, accountancy, teaching, uh, fashion buying, investment banking, product development and recruitment, just to name a few. 
Um, it's also a good one if you're thinking about setting up your own business. This subject provides you with the basic knowledge of the six different areas of business in order to be successful in setting up your own products or your own business ideas.